Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to show you guys how to make morisqueta. It's just pretty much rice and beans. There's a few ways of making morisqueta. The one I'm going to be showing you guys today is estilo Michoacán. I've heard estilo Michoacán and that's how I make it. I'm not from Michoacán. But if you are from Michoacán and if this is how you make it, please let me know in the comments. As you're going to see, it's a very easy recipe, very little ingredients. And let me show you how to make it. The ingredients we're going to need for this recipe are two cups of white rice, four cups of beans, three small tomatoes, four teaspoons of chicken bouillon, one jalapeno pepper, one garlic clove, small piece of onion, and about a half a pound of cotija cheese. Let's start off by washing our rice. We're going to turn on our rice cooker. And then we're gonna add three cups of water. And now we'll just press white rice. While I'm waiting for the rice to cook, which is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes, I'm heating up a pan on medium heat and I'm gonna add some oil to cook our beans. Now that our oil is hot, I'm gonna add these beans. And by the way, I made a video about these beans and I'm gonna link it down below. It's a very easy way of making beans, and if you're interested, go and watch it. Once they're boiling, I like to mash them a little bit, and once they're a little bit mashed, this is how they should look. And then you just let them boil for a little bit more, and they should be ready. So our beans are ready, and now I'm just waiting for the rice to be fully cooked, and I'm starting on the salsa. What I do with the salsa is I'll cut the tomatoes in fourths and throw them into the blender. And then I'm gonna add the chile jalapeño, but I'm only gonna use about three fourths because my son loves morisqueta and I don't want it to be too spicy. And I'll just cut the piece of onion and our garlic clove. We're also gonna be adding the chicken bouillon and a little bit of water. You only need very little water. That should be enough. Now we blend it. I'm gonna add some oil. Now that our oil is hot, we're gonna add all the blended ingredients that we used for our salsa. I'm going to cook the salsa for about two to three minutes on high and just stir it occasionally. Okay, while I'm waiting for the salsa to boil, I am going to be cutting the cheese in small squares because once it's ready, we're going to put this cheese to boil with the salsa. The sauce has been cooking for about three minutes now and you can see the, it's a pretty good consistency already so I'm just gonna add the cheese now. My mouth is watering guys. It smells so good and it looks so delicious. Okay guys, the way to know if the salsa is completely ready is when you start noticing that the cheese is melting a little bit. And then we just go ahead and turn it off because we don't want the cheese to be completely melted. This should be perfect. Now I'm just gonna cover it and set it to the side and wait for our rice. The rice is finally ready. Now it's time to serve our morisqueta. Um starving already. Perfectly cooked white rice. Now we add our beans. See how you can see that some of the beans are not smashed? This is just how I like it. And then to top it off with our salsa and some quesito cotija. 
and this is what it should look like. Okay guys, now time for my best part, my favorite part. But if you can see already off camera, I was already eating because I was starving and it's only about half left. But, la verdad, me salió deliciosa. It's delicious, guys. Definitely need to try it. And the texture of the cheese, perfect. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I enjoyed making this morisqueta. And like I said earlier, if you're from Michoacan and you make it different, please let me know in the comments how you make it. I'm curious to see if we make it the same way or if there's different ways to make it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channels. I'll see you next time. Bye.